something kind of strenuous my chest kind of hurts but it's not a big deal okay so during uh, mostly during activities you feel the chest pain yeah and it's not every activity just a couple okay well let's go ahead and check your blood pressure today just gonna use your left arm here oh my so what's wrong well, it's still a little high. Um, it's 150 over 92. So, since it's been consistently high, um, we can discuss the medications. Have you ever heard of Tenormin or Atenolol? No. Okay, well, it's used for management of high blood pressure. Um, the chest pain you're describing is known as angina. Um, it can help with that. And, treating heart palpitations or heart racing. So that could be an option the doctor may talk to you about today, okay? Okay. All right. Come in. All right, Abby. So it looks like you and doctor discussed Tenormin or Atenolol, and these are some samples he's going to give you to try out until you can get your prescription filled. Okay. Um, they have your scripts up front when you go to check out and they'll give them to you. And just take it once a day at the same time every day. Um, and let us know if you have any problems, any of the side effects that were discussed. All right? Okay. Thank All right. you. Thank you. And I hope you start feeling better. Thank you. Tenormin, also known as the Tenolol, is used for multiple reasons, including treatment of hypertension, tachycardia, angina, and prevention of heart attack. It can also be used for the treatment of anxiety, migraines, and even tremors. Tenormin should be taken orally at the same time every day, which is where absorption rapidly starts with the peak blood levels reach between 2 to 4 hours. It then is excreted by the kidneys unchanged, with the remainder being excreted through feces. It is also known as a lipophilic drug because it is attracted to adipose, or fatty tissue which our brains have a lot of and is capable of dissolving in lipids. Tenormin should be used cautiously in patients with hypotension, renal and hepatic impairments, and heart arrhythmias. Atenola, or tenormin, works by blocking the excitement of beta-1 heart receptors without crossing the blood-brain barrier. This allows the medication to decrease blood pressure, heart rate, and frequency of angina, and thus prevents heart attacks. Tenormin has an advantage over other beta blockers when using with patients who may also have shortness of breath, asthma, COPD, or other respiratory-related problems because it does not cross the blood-brain barrier and does not cause airway resistance like other beta blockers can do. Some side effects of Tenormin may include fatigue, weakness, drowsiness, and dizziness. Adverse effects may also occur when taking this medication, including bradycardia, congestive heart failure, hypotension, peripheral vasoconstriction, and possibly even pulmonary edema. Always remember to contact your health care provider immediately if you notice any of these symptoms. Tenormin is used for long-term management only and should not be stopped abruptly. If so, this could cause life-threatening arrhythmias, hypertension, and myocardial ischemia. <laughs> 